If you are a beginner blogger trying to grow your blog, but you can't figure out why it's not growing, let me just tell you, I have been there. When I first started my blog, I spent months thinking that I was growing my blog. I thought I was doing all the right things. I was reading a ton of blog posts, articles. I was watching YouTube videos. I was attending webinars. And I thought that I was getting all the information that I needed to grow my blog, but for some reason, it wasn't growing. And I thought that I was doing everything I was supposed to be doing because I was following what other people were telling me to do. But it got to the point where I was so frustrated that I wasn't growing that I knew that something had to change. So today I wanna to share some tips with you. Honestly, I wanna share some common mistakes that a lot of beginner bloggers make when they get started. And all of these mistakes I made myself. So I wanna share with you some mistakes that you may be making and how you can correct them to actually start growing your blog. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Catherine, the creator of The Content Bug, and I'm here to help you follow your passion by growing your audience online. I don't have anything else for the intro, so let's just go and get into the 10 common mistakes that you could be making. The first one is one that I definitely did when I was getting started. I thought that I had to be on Facebook groups. And if you are one of those people that wastes way too much time in Facebook threads, doing the comment for comment, doing the like for likes, doing the follow for follow, sharing your blog posts on there, trying to get a little bit of promotion from Facebook, I'm telling you, it is a waste of time. And you could definitely be using some other strategies that would actually grow your blog. When I was getting started, I joined a ton of Facebook groups because I thought that was the way that I was gonna grow. I was like, oh, I'm gonna make connections. I'm gonna promote my blog post every Tuesday because that's when my blogs came out and I noticed that I was only getting a spike in traffic every Tuesday because I was getting those views from those Facebook threads, but I wasn't actually getting quality followers and I wasn't actually reaching the right audience. If you really wanna grow your blog, get off those Facebook threads. They are not helping you at all. So instead, spend more time on Pinterest, building your Pinterest strategy because that's gonna create more of a long-term growth for you. We all do this. Let's be honest, we all do this, especially when we are getting started. We compare ourselves to more experienced, more qualified, or just bloggers that have been blogging for so much longer than us. I was blogging for maybe six months and I was comparing myself to bloggers that, that had been blogging for over five years. It's unhealthy, it's not productive, and it's not gonna get you anywhere. So if you were trying to grow your blog and you keep looking at those other bloggers and you're like, what are they doing? Maybe I can copy off of them. Maybe you can follow some of their strategies. Stop doing it, hone in on what you really wanna do do, hone in on your mission, work on building your own unique brand and don't copy off of other people and just stop comparing yourself to other people. It's not healthy for you or your blog. The next one goes hand in hand and that is creating content based off of other people's content. I have definitely done it. I have gone on Pinterest seen, okay, what are other people in my industry talking about? Okay, I could do this spin off and maybe create this kind of blog post because if it's working for them, it's gonna work for me. I've done it, I've been there. And I'm sure that you're gonna run into this in the future if you haven't run into it already. There are a lot of copy cats, a lot of similar blog posts out there. But if you really want to make your own path, you need to create content that you actually want to create and that you think will be good. The way that you stand out is by creating something unique and not copying off of other people. In the beginning, you want to get those page views. Everyone wants to improve their page views because you're told that more page views leads to more money, more opportunity, more followers, more of an impact, and honestly, just more success. And if you're looking to get those page views, that's fine because every everyone is doing it, but do not write blog posts just to get a click and do not use clickbait titles. That is the worst thing that you can do is getting those just clicks to your website only for them to bounce off and realize that that wasn't the content that they were actually looking for. You want to create honest content that you are proud of. And if you're just creating content for the clicks or for the views, if you are a YouTuber, even this applies to you guys too. It's it's gonna be a short-term impact, a short result, not long-term growth. I know I am not the only one that has done this, but checking your analytics every day is such a bad habit and it's such a common mistake that a lot of bloggers make. They get bogged down by their analytics, they check it every single day, they wanna see it grow, and when your blog isn't growing, you just get grumpy, you just get sad, and trust me, I have been there. I used to check my analytics every single day to the point where I made a rule for myself that I wasn't and allowed to check my analytics for one whole month and that was really a wake-up call for me. Checking your analytics is honestly such a waste of time, especially if they're not really growing. So instead of wasting your time checking your analytics, try to expand your education, learn a little bit more, and start trying out new strategies. Try out things that might actually grow your blog instead of being bogged down that your blog isn't growing. Number six, only working to maintain your blog instead of growing it. A ton of bloggers do this when they are trying to grow their blog, but their blog isn't growing.
growing, it's because they think that they are working on growing their blog, but in reality, they're just maintaining it. If you are just writing blog posts every week, sharing Instagram photos every week, managing your Pinterest profile, and just doing the bare bones to keep your blog alive, to keep it active, that isn't growing your blog. You may be thinking, oh, but I'm writing blog posts. That's adding a new blog post. That's helping my SEO strategy. That's helping my Pinterest strategy. It's helping me get more opportunities for people to land on my website, but that's just not the reality. You are only maintaining. You are doing the bare minimum that you have to do as a blogger. So if you want to grow your blog, you have to think of more advanced strategies. Think about how you can grow your email list by creating more opt-ins. You can start with collaborations, work with other bloggers, find other bloggers, start writing guest posts, have guest posts on your website, maybe join more affiliate programs, write affiliate posts, try to grow your income that way. Maybe work on creating a paid product if you're at that stage in your blogging game. There are so many things that you can do to grow your blog instead of just maintaining it. So don't get caught up in just doing the bare minimum. Always strive to do more and more every single week. Ah, uh, goal setting. I hope that you have some goals set for your blog and if you don't, you need to set some goals for your blog. Seriously, it is so important to help you continue to grow because if you're just not setting goals at all, you're probably gonna remain stagnant. But one of the common mistakes that a lot of bloggers make is that they shoot too high in their goals. They set really long-term big goals like they wanna be making $100,000 a month or something insane, but that isn't practical, especially if you are at the beginning. So if you're a blogger that's maybe shooting too high, maybe you're shooting too far away, set short-term practical goals that you can achieve. I'm talking two-week goals, month goals, quarter goals, things that you can cross off your list to help you feel like you're accomplishing something. Because when you're getting started as a blogger, I know how it feels when you see that your blog isn't growing. You feel like you're wasting your time, you feel like you're not making an impact, and you start to doubt yourself, and you start to doubt if this is even worth it, or if you're ever going to be successful. So if you want to grow, and if you want to motivate yourself, set short-term term goals. Create an action plan with all the steps that you need to do and then follow them. That's going to help you to get beyond that step of maintaining your blog and move forward to actually growing it. You've probably heard this before, but if you're waiting for the perfect moment, the perfect moment will never come. And that is something that so many people do. They wait for everything to be perfect before they make action. So a common mistake that bloggers make is that they want that blog post to be perfect. They want that Instagram photo to be perfect. And they don't take that next step, that next big action, even even if it's just a tiny action, they don't take it because it's not perfect. It's not what they envisioned. And sometimes you just have to take some imperfect action and do something instead of doing nothing. You're not going to grow if you don't write that blog post, if you don't send that email, if you don't reach out to that company, you're not going to grow. So you need to start working on just making action. And this is something that I do with my own Instagram account. I get comments all the time, honestly. My mother texted me the other day, letting me know that I had a typo in one of my captions. Because for me, it's better to launch that Instagram post Post, it's better to write that caption and have there be some errors than to not do it at all. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes and just, just take some action. Number nine is such a big one and it is worrying about what other people think. All of us do it, blogger or not, I'm sure that you have done it. And this is something that could be totally crippling, especially if you are trying to grow your blog. If you are so worried about what other people will think with the content that you create, the business that you are creating, the things that you are doing, if you are getting so bogged down, worrying about what other people think of you. It's just, it's not healthy for one. It goes back to just not being healthy with a comparison game, but it's also not productive and it's not helping you to move forward. What I tend to say to people when they are worried about what other people will think, I ask them, well, what do you think? How do you feel about it? Are you proud of it? Are you happy with the direction that you're going? Are you content with your journey? Because if you are happy, that's all that matters. You don't need to worry about what other people think because here's the reality, not everyone is going to like you. It's true. I have gotten comments, emails, DMs from people that do not like me, do not like the content that I create, do not like the business that I am building, and that is fine because not everyone is going to like me. But I sit here every single week trying to talk to that one person that I can help that one person that I can push to create some change in their life and to really grow their audience online if that's what they want to do. I am here to share my knowledge for that one person that really, really needs it. So don't worry about what other people think. And if you start to get in that mindset, just ask yourself, am I happy with this? Am I proud of what I am doing? Because if I am, then I have to keep going. 
And the very last one kind of goes along with that, and that's trying to reach everyone instead of trying to reach one main audience. I have seen so many bloggers do this to just create a wide variety of content. They're trying to reach everyone out there because they think if they have a larger audience, the more of an opportunity is for people to find them. But in reality, there is such a benefit to niching down and getting specific on the audience that you want to target. So my main audience is bloggers, YouTubers, business owners, but mainly bloggers and YouTubers. And it's typically females. That is my main audience. If you are confused on who your audience is and right now you're just creating a ton of content, you're trying to reach everyone, it's probably not helping you grow because you're not reaching the right people that you could really have an impact on. So the first thing that you need to do is figure out the mission behind your blog, figure out the purpose and come up with your why. Why are you doing this? Why are you creating? Is it because you want to share your talents in something? Maybe you want to have a positive impact on others. Maybe you want to make people laugh. Maybe you want to create change. Maybe you want to just educate people. It all really depends on what you're talking about within your blog, but you have to come up with your why and then figure out who you are trying to reach with that. Figure out who your audience is, who you could directly impact and come up with that one single person that you can talk to. Come up with a whole entire person, give them a name, give them a personality, give them a location, come up with all the details that you can about that one person and then write your content for them. Brainstorm the content that you can create that will reach them, that they would be interested in and that would help them. So that is it for this video. Honestly, I have so many tips and so many things that I could share with you. So many mistakes that I have made that go way beyond this list, but that's just kind of the basics what I want to talk about today. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you would like to see. And I will see you guys back here in another video very soon. Bye guys. I don't know why I do these beard fingers. I feel like that's like so unnatural. Bye guys. Is, is that even natural? Peace. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out.